Hi, this is Drew Valens with Satellite Test Prep, and today we're going to look at a difficult plane geometry question. Let's take a look. In the figure above, WXYT is a square, and triangle TYZ is equilateral. If WXYT has an area of 1, what is the area of triangle TYZ? If you'd like to try this question on your own, press pause now. Okay, so as, as I've taught in the past, the most important thing we have to do at first is underline key math words. So WXYT is a square, and triangle TYZ is equilateral. WXYT has an area of 1, and the question is, what is the area of the triangle? So we want the area of this triangle. And let's now put together what we know. So WXYT is a square, that means all sides are equal, right? And it has <clears throat> triangle TYZ is equilateral, which means all of these sides are equal. So all five sides are equal. It says that WXYT, which is the square, has an area of one. So we know that the area of a square is length times width. And if the area is one, that means that the length is one and the width is one which means that all sides are 1. All right. Now, oh, this is an equilateral triangle. So that means that all these sides are 1. OK, we're getting there. Final step, what is the area of this triangle? Here's the tricky part. If we have a triangle, I'll redraw it over here, that has an area, or excuse me, that has lengths of 1, 1, and 1. How do we get the area of the triangle? Well, we know that the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Here's the base, and here is the height of the triangle. So the area is going to be 1 half base, which is 1, times the height, which we don't know yet. How do we get this length? Well, here's how. We break it up into a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. This is 60, and this is 30. So we have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. We know that this length is 1 half. We know that this length is 1. And if we remember our special right triangle ratios, we know that this side is going to be whatever this is times root 3. So it's going to be root 3 times 1 half, which is root 3 over 2. That's what this side is. OK. Now we have the height. So we're going to put it in 1 half times 1 times root 3 over 2. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply across. So it becomes 1 times run times root 3, which is root 3, over 2 times 2 is 4. The answer is root 3 over 4. That is the area of this triangle. If you have any questions or comments about this question, please list them below.